Hi everybody, hope you're well. Today we'll read from a book titled The Emotional Power of Space by Ila Beca and Luis Lemoine, published by Beca and Partners. For about 20 years we have been making films that seek to understand the influence space can have on our physical, psychological and emotional state. By engaging the whole body in an active and immersive relationship, space implies a multi-sensory experience which stimulates perceptions, feelings and thoughts. Like sound, space embraces us, immerses us, passes through us. It guides and directs our paths, defines our movements and behaviors, our rhythms. It frames our interactions with objects, surfaces and people. It structures our views and perspectives. In a word, it shapes our world. But how does space affect what we feel? What triggers the complex, versatile and unpredictable mechanism of our emotions which we can hardly control? To find answers to those questions, our main focus over the years has been to place people at the forefront of architecture's representation, shifting the point of view. Rather than approaching architecture from the distant and analytical perspective of its aesthetic, structural or functional qualities, we have enhanced an often neglected dimension, one that is immaterial and difficult to reach, by exploring how people perceive and experience space. Our films seek to capture the spontaneous, intuitive reactions of anonymous people who inhabit, adapt and endure or enjoy spaces they didn't necessarily choose, but which condition their lives. By observing how they behave and change in relation to their close environment, we have tried to translate the subtle dialogue between people and spaces to understand the underlying relations of reciprocal influence. Rather than stories of architecture, what these films tell are stories of sensibilities towards architecture. This book shares a similar aim, but for once we change sides. We went to meet 12 architects with whom we either had a long-lasting relationship or we admired from a distance. All of them, however, share an approach to architecture in which perception, sensoriality and emotion play a central role. However, it is not their work that is the subject of this book, work that is well known to all. Instead, we have gone in search of a rather fragile, precious and intimate matter. Through the lively and spontaneous form of the conversation, we ask them to share their own personal way of seeing space, how they engage their own bodies in space, what moves them in architecture, and which feelings and emotions they seek to transmit in their work. The book explores the role of the irrational, the intuitive and the emotional in the practice of architecture. The 12 conversations that follow revolve around the tension between intuition and rationality, unveiling the role played by what escapes a rational understanding in the design of space. The stories, memories and considerations gathered in this book are to be read as a generous invitation to develop a more subtle attention towards our sensorial and emotional relationship with the space that surrounds us. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.